<laughs> Even back in the old days, man. Dude, I don't know if anyone remembers when that, that the famous Wednesday night, I think MSM or Wednesday night fight. I don't remember uh, him and K9 arguing over that was the monitor moving for like very two funny clip. Yeah, yeah. It was a very funny clip. I, I, there are words said that I cannot say here, and uh, you guys should definitely check it out. It's from roaming around Twitter somewhere. So sure. Yeah, you're a real one if you remember that. And of course, this is the Con Con ritual, you know, you just uh, stall <laughs> as much time as possible. <laughs> gotta, gotta make my, my opponent cold. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Cool you, just look at Lil Rich, he's just like, man, just can't let me wait for so damn long just to start our first match. But here we go, We're finally gonna get into it. Yeah, starting off on Battlefield, this does seem like a really neutral stage between the two of these characters. You know, Ness is gonna be able to retreat to the platforms, especially at low percent, you might wanna do that. But, uh, Con Con, man, he's, uh, he's showing that he's willing to go up there and get you. Yeah, I mean, if you really think about it, it's like Luigi wants to try and control the tempo of the match because he's the one that has that threat of the zero to that, so he's going to want to try and force his opponent to make a mistake by me constantly going in, trying to approach something. But yeah, got a couple of hits in, so we're outside of that range now, but still, at any moment in time, an up he out of shield, that could potentially be the stock as well. Yeah, up he out of shields in this game are just so potent. And, you know, just having the ability to instantly answer back to shield pressure is something that a lot of characters don't have. And especially when it's one that can kill like Luigi's, it's just so, so good. All right, Kanka finally figured out to beat out the oh. hitbox. Oh! <laughs> All right, that's a unfortunate misfire, what yeah. What double? What happened? Is misfire in the... Yeah, he couldn't make it back. He was too far. That was just overall a very weird stock. Yeah. Oh. Okay, no okay. jump. Off Take the backboard? Out. Okay. I think that's it. Uh. Yeah, that's it. He Very the, nice stuff, yeah. He had, he had the bank shot. I think he called it too. I heard it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how does he get back from the Okay, simple roll. That'll do it. Yeah, we're back in the match. Oh, here we uh -oh. go. Potentially big stock, but just gonna air dodge right through it, yeah. Especially with the uh, floaty characters, you stay in the air a little bit longer, so sometimes you can act out of it faster and get out of those scary situations. Yeah, it's not easy to do against a lot of uh, Record your characters. The fast followers are kind of where it's most dangerous. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, relatively even game, all things considered. Yeah. Lumbre was doing very good in the beginning, but then Kakan was just a quick catch up with that edge guard and she's able to bring it back. I like his movement. He's kind of not committing to anything. Uh, you know, he'll side magnet to kind of just say, hey, like, I'm in this space. You have to respect it. You know, he's going to get the down smash right there, just kind of clipping Kakan and looking like a good lead. That was very good conditioning on Loombrake's part because he was throwing out those PK Thunders. Kakon knew the answer was landing with the immediate hitbox like his Nair, but then he decided not to throw it out, throw out the down smash instead, get that edge guard. That was very smart for Loombrake. Yeah, just going out with the projectiles when you have the lead, man. That's what you gotta do against a character like this. Yeah, I mean, you're just trying to tick on as much percent as you can while, while you've got this advantage. And exactly. You know, eventually, your opponent might start overcommitting to some stuff after you've conditioned them to kind of say, like, hey, you've got to approach me. And then that's where you get to say, okay, now I can start looking at actually taking the stock and making this a two stock game. You know? yeah. Ooh! Okay. <laughs> Very good read on Kankan's part. Read the directional air dodge. Knew that Lumbre didn't have too many options. Had to try to come back to the stage, try to sneak his way around. Yeah. Didn't quite work out there. And Ness's air dodge is so good. It actually goes the length of Dr. Mario's up B when he air dodges upwards, <laughs> which is the saddest fact that I know about this game. Wow. Today I learned. That's uh, That says a lot about Dr. Mario. Yeah, wow. it, it definitely <laughs> does. Okay, the Cyclone got invincibility through that. Actually, I think you can just hit that. The the yo-yo. Uh, the you just hit the yo-yo. You don't need it, right? Right. Okay, we got the up air juggles. We're trying to chase him down, but we uh -oh. do airspeed. Not quite there yet, but he's got the control right now. All he needs is one good sequence. He can potentially close it out, but the Nair finally gonna give him some breathing room. Oh, no cross up. Uh oh, okay. Yeah, every time this character Ness does that, bonkers, it's, like, it's dude. very oh. scary, but all of a sudden, wow, he almost died off the yeah. top of that too. <gasps> Back throw, that's it. Being able to be clutch in situations like this is a very underrated to, uh, trait of most characters in this game. A lot of them think about it like, oh, if they're very strong neutral, they got strong out of shield options. Yeah. But the clutch factor, you yeah. cannot put a value your on Your character that. can be as good as you want it to be. It can be OP, it doesn't matter. It's all about what's in your temple, what's in the brain space. <laughs> Keep that calm, then you can take games. Yeah. Now going into game two, they go back to the same stage? I don't think so, yeah. yeah. Two, one, All right, let's see. Did you see that game face that Kong Kong just put yeah. on right before the match yeah, started? Kong Kong <laughs> said, I'm not losing this. I'm going to San Francisco. Yeah. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. He actually just opted for the damage and not to go for the zero to death. Yeah. Sometimes against like these types of characters, it's more worth it. Then you can control the advantage position, and you can clip jumps like that, potentially to try to get something. Not quite. It's the right timing. Oh, there's that up out of shoot we were talking about earlier. Great stuff to Concon taking an early lead game two. Yeah, finally showing his face in this second game here. Definitely what Concon needed to try and turn this back around here. Okay, Lubre, he's got... Oh, wait, where did he go? He took that PK fire all the way down into the depths of the ocean. Dude. Yeah, I think he was trying to curve it back around so that he could get the PK rocket too, but then it just like hit the stage or something. Yeah, I think it hit the lip of Battlefield. He didn't quite calculate it correctly. He yeah, did something weird there. Lumbre still, I mean, despite that early death, still trying to bring this back around. Oh, good patience from Lumbre. No, not again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. man. This, okay. Helen is a bit of a nut. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just really don't know what he's going to do. But, I mean, that's the that's the case of Luigi players in general. It's like you're playing this kind of character. It's like, what are they going to do, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and just having that many layers of mix-ups is really good. And, you know, Lumbre is going to catch that last hit of the up air, planking with that down B. Con -con. I mean, he's got a chance to take this stock, but uh, he's got to make it happen before Lumbre puts on damage. We've seen what he's able to do in a short period of time. Yeah. All right, overcoming a little bit with the dash attack, but he's going to get out of Pika Fire, get that back air. The jump is gone, but he's going to air drop back. Yeah, PK Fire covering him. Very smart recovery coming from Lumbre. Con -con is doing a great job of getting out of Oh, good. That was an amazing cross up. That was perfect. That's exactly what Con, -Con uses. He tried to take this game two, force the game three, and. Yeah, line with Cyclone. You gotta be careful about that. You gotta be ready for it. Lumbre has not shielded that one time. I, think. I mean, sometimes it's just one of the things. Like he's doing it at the very last second, so it's like, oh, he's finally not gonna do it, and then he ends up doing it again, and you're just like, ah, oh, I got caught by it one yeah. more time. And the worst thing is that if you commit to an option right before he does do it, it does have that first frame of invincibility that it powers through any option that you pick. Yeah, a lot of these characters can stretch that last option to the very last second, and it makes it very difficult to try and time your advanced position. Yeah. That's why I think waiting is a very, very strong tool in this game as well, because you don't know when someone's going to pull it out in the last second. Yeah, especially against characters that love to press buttons like Ness. Like, being able to just wait is so good. Oh. <gasps> I appreciate the read. Yes. Didn't quite find it. Still got the position, though. I like the wall bounce. Ooh. Try to get something out of it, but he fell out. That was crazy. I've never seen someone fall out of second like that. Back throw. Happens occasionally. From what oh, I've seen. Oh, no, 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 Dude, no, no, he no. wants to lose this game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I mean, after that first game misfire that happened, I was really scared that it was going to happen again or something. Yeah. Not quite, though. Very smart for the Lumbre. Just time waiting it out. Doesn't get caught on the ledge. Man, 150%. And he's got another stock to try and take. Yeah. There's the first one. And Let's said, see if he can take the second one. This is going to be hard. He's, he's got to play flawless. One mistake and he's dead. Yeah. That was a mistake there, but Kankan not taking it. Let's see what he does. Woo! You can tell Lumbre yeah. is being very careful. He wants to get that opening no, on the that PK was not fire. It. Yeah, not going to find it. it. And of course, they did change Luigi's down smash so that he just he would fly in the direction that Luigi's facing. Yes. So yeah, he just flew across the screen and that's. Game two going to Konkan. We're going to game three here. Yeah, he's super, super overcommitted with that Nair. Thought he could press a button before Konkan could, but it was not the case. Lumbre going to have to kind of re-examine how he played that game. Say, you know, what was Konkan beating me in? Where where did I lose that game? And, you know, if Lumbre can figure that out, then, I mean, we can see him in winter semis. I think he just let Luigi land a little bit. Much, yeah, yeah. In my personal opinion. You, you got to hold shield sometimes. Sometimes you got to attack. You got you to mix those options up. And, yeah. Uh, he was pretty much trying to attack every single time. Yeah, he was doing a good job in game one, I think. That's why he won that one, because he was able to juggle with PK Thunder and then catch on the edge guard. Very smart play from Lumbre. Not quite finding him second time around, but there were the adjustments from Kong Kong as well. So we got to see if he can get a third adjustment from Lumbre this time. See if he can close out this game. Yeah. Right now, he's got the damage lead, so we'll yeah, have to see how long that lasts. The Yomi layers are definitely looking like lasagna right now. We've got, we've got two of them, but let's see if we can get a third. Oh, I love that attempt, but you know, just barely missed the angle, and he probably, he definitely would have taken that stock for that. And because he misses that, he takes a whole bunch of percent. Yeah. Could have been a lot worse, I think. And yeah, very smart. Catches him from underneath. Kankan doing the cycle a little too early that time. Yeah, and we were talking about just waiting. Waiting is so important in this game, and Lumbre is showing great patience. All right, let's see. Kankan's got the advantage oh. again. 
Oh, very smart directional air dodge. Thought he was gonna wait back down and go for the PK rocket, but Loombrain knew exactly how long his air directional air dodge was gonna be. As you said, it was something like the Dr. Mario's up so so yeah, able dude. to make it Dr. Back. Mario would've, would've died there. He would've gotten hit for it. Yeah. Oh! That was weird. Yeah, Loombrain all of a sudden turning up the heat on the second, or excuse me, third game, rather. Really did you, did you see the out. side magnet to push him back into the PK fire? That was sick. Yeah, oh my goodness. Stuff. Con -con. Don't tell me that's how you he's lose actually, stock, He's man. actually a nut, dude. Oh, man. That is... Three stocks to one right now. I've seen it happen before. The person in the league gets a little too comfy, and all of a sudden it's a last stock situation, but... Yeah, that was, that was upbeat for free right there, but I don't know why he went for the up smash. Maybe he didn't want to stale it, looking for one of the next stocks, but still, I mean, you, I think you take it where you can get it right now. Yeah, I mean, he's uh, looking for something. He's getting those carries in. He's, like, pulling out all the stocks right now. Oh. We'll have to see Loombrain going in right now. Loombrain's got Kong Kong panicking defensively. Yeah. He's just throwing out defensive options. Yeah, I think this might be it, actually. I, I really don't see Kong Kong Oh, okay, back. so that, that's what he needs. That's what he needs. He's got the first stock. Now he's got to just take another one. I mean, I definitely think you go for the zero to death here if you can find it. Yeah, but... Matter, like you said, it's a matter of being able to find it. I don't yeah. think he's going to be and finding this it. This is a really soon. scary situation. There's a forward area, and that's going to take the stock. Lumbre going to head to winner semis here. MSM, Kong Kong falling down to losers. I mean, yeah. he can still make it.